We have rabbits around our house. I consider feeding them from time to time. The rabbits? Yeah. I think they're okay. They'll probably eat your garden. Oh, they're so. big enough. Yeah, I yeah. don't need to, but I'm thinking, I'm they're sure already there's plenty of gardens in no. Stonebridge. <laughs> sure, they are. They have, we used to have a road bu rose bush in the front. I assume it was them who are the reason that we no longer do. She gone. Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> anyway, our uh, web poll for today. We're asking if you consider the old series at Taste, Taste of Saskatchewan. Saskatchewan. So if you do wonder, that's kind of a cool chance to get to talk to the farmer and find yes, out how it gets from lots, farm to plate. Lots of info out there this year. Yeah. Impressive. Uh, you think those raccoons wonder where their food comes from? I think they know where their food comes yeah. from. Yeah. Right Humans. Now. The bush that they eat it off of. Uh, the garbage can yeah. that they go into. The human hands that they're taking it from as right. well, yes. it would appear. Yeah. yeah. You do often forget, though, when you're just like going in for some milk and eggs and stuff, you, you kind of forget Sometimes, all the work that goes yeah. into it. Yeah, it, uh, food does not just arrive at the grocery store. No, no, not at all. All right, <laughs> still ahead, we will talk business with BNN. Plus, what do you need to know to protect yourself from the silent killer carbon monoxide? And we'll have the newest movie minute with Craig. All right, today's smile is the four of us, and it's actually not even the four of us, but uh, the one sitting on the far side, Natalie Quinlan, you guys have known for some time, a little over a year, yes. and uh, today is actually your last day. I know, day. I know. I'm smiling awkwardly because I don't know what to do, you You're know? You're supposed to end up crying. I know, I know, I'm trying not to. Yesterday. Oh, I did, I did cry in front of the office yesterday, <laughs> so I've already been embarrassed enough. <laughs> Perfect, well, this might help emote some of those tears. Thanks. Aw, that is riding off oh, That was sunset. very nice. Well, thank you very much, Steph. Don't get teary. You look a little bit teary. Maybe I will. I can cry on command, so if I want I know. to cry, I can make you cry. <laughs> I'm just, I think there's so much adrenaline going through my veins That's right now. That's a busy now. Day, last day for all... you. We don't make it easy for you. No. no, I know. And it's just been absolutely wonderful. Thank you so much, guys, for the but opportunity. You're staying in the CTV family. I am. So that's the nice thing. I'm going to have the same email address. My area code on my phone is obviously going to change a little heading to London, Ontario, but I'm going to be just an email away or Facebook or Instagram, whatever it is. Twitter is going to say the same. Twitter, so. if you guys want to stay in touch with her for sure. Yeah, thank you very much. And I heard Malia put that together. Is that correct? Yeah, well, we had, she was uh, on the late news last Thursday, Friday. Yeah. And uh, in order not to get caught, <laughs> you know, editing stuff. What a girl. You in front well. of you. What a girl. Uh, she kind of was voluntold or volunteered. Uh, to uh, to put that together, she did a great job, and of course, uh, we wish she was here yeah. with us. But she put that together for you as a tribute. Uh, give us, I guess, a final sense of your time here in Saskatoon. What are you going to miss the most? Oh, I'm going to miss the people. I know that's so common to say, but obviously, my coworkers, my second family. Now, this is where I'm getting a little there emotional. We go. Thank you so much <laughs> for everything that you guys have done. It's been amazing. Oh so. no! no. I'm gonna cry. It's been absolutely amazing. Saskatoon is my second home, and it's been awesome. We love you. Love you. Tea <laughs> breakfast after. Jeremy's getting a little bit teary-eyed too. Oh my god, he is. I am not. Oh, <laughs> grab me, grab my we'll hand. <laughs> but can we go for a team breakfast after the show? Absolutely. We're gonna do pancakes, and it's gonna be great. Perfect. <laughs> okay, yeah. don't sound so sad about the pancakes. We're gonna do. Pancakes. We're gonna have so pancakes, gonna pancakes and everything. It's gonna yeah. be great. Oh, I'm, now I have to fix my makeup. Thanks, uh, sorry, guys. So glad you were left. Thank you so much. Fantastic. Yeah, she's uh, she's been a wonderful part of the team. I didn't get a chance yesterday to tell you, but you. Uh, we appreciate everything you've done, your yeah. organizational skills, your passion, your drive, your commitment. And I hope the message was relayed that we're excited to watch you spread your wings yeah. and fly. It's going to be hard. This is for Natalie because she loves cute animals she and you can need... never get enough of cute animals first thing in the morning, right? No. Take a look at these baby spot-billed duck, July 10th and I got to see her yesterday, and you forget when you don't see a newborn for so long how little they are. It's true. I mean, I had two of these at one point in my life, and it's still, you, yeah. you see them, and it's like, I, this is so unfamiliar so, to me. So little, and her little head, and I was probably the most annoying person yesterday, because I was just <laughs> like, look at her lips, look at her nose, look at her feet. <laughs> <laughs> That's how I am with baby animals, too. Yeah. But congratulations <laughs> to Megan and Scotty. Yeah, uh, fantastic. Yes. Do you remember how big you were? You oh, were I was like eight something. Yeah, I was not a small baby. I don't know. Average, seven-ish probably. I don't know. Yeah, I don't know. I, I was a chunky monkey. <laughs>
That's okay. A now hefty you're baby. A hefty step. Oh, right? Is that what we call it? <laughs> what? Hefty step. I'm Whoa, not in this conversation he anymore. Now he's calling me hefty. We're <laughs> talking about your, you were a big baby. Yes. Don't you even try and spin this on me. If I wanted to give you an insult, I would find a much better one than that. Yeah, that is true. Yeah, I would just have I to can always really count high. on you. Yeah. Yeah, for sure. <laughs> ah, yes. Anyway, no, I just was wondering, because it's like one of those stats that, like, somebody has a newborn and they're like, bang, you know, this tall or inches or however yeah. long they are and what they weigh. And then I'm like, but well, I think I used to know, but yeah. I don't know what, yeah. what I was. I was Doesn't eight really something, mean. but yeah, it's kind of tough. We did have a, a bet, like we all placed bets, right, but I had a boy born on July 17th mm. at like seven pounds something, so I was way a off. A lot. Yeah. Way off. I think it's more of a measure of how difficult the labor may have been, right? The size and the oh, that size of the baby, thing. yeah, yeah. yeah. I really Maybe. have no idea. So, if you well, last summer he quit all the bands he was in and ran away to Vancouver Island to record his own album. Musician Jason Hattie joins me now. Thanks so much for coming in. Hi, thanks for having me again. So, you've been playing in various bands since you were 15. What was it like to step away from all of them? Yeah, it was. I've played drums in a lot of bands from Saskatoon, and you decide to go to Vancouver Island. Uh, me and my best friend, uh, Connor McDougall, decided that we, well, I'd been touring so much that, you know, my life had kind of been half vacation, half work. A variety of genres and all the different bands yeah. you kind of filled in on. <laughs> What's this record going to sound like? Uh, everyone's saying it's kind of a new wave record. Like, it's got a real heavy 80s influence, at least to the instrumentation and the production of it. Um, but the songs are all kind of different. I mean, it has, like, slight dance and house influence even to it so it's kind of a mutt okay <laughs> it's a bit of actually had some trouble um in victoria on your way mm, home yeah uh tell us about that <laughs> uh, okay so um, Make you it is finished. coming out and yeah. where can people download it you can get it on itunes you can listen to it on spotify or you can go to hattiemusic.com h-a-t-t-i-e music.com and you can grab it off Bandcamp, or you can order one of the postcards that it's out on Awesome. And, and the postcard comes with two downloads to it. So. And quickly, before we're out of time, you're mm -hmm. performing tonight at the Capitol. At the Capitol, yes. What time? Uh, I'll be on at, I think, 9.30. All right. Well, if you can't catch him tonight, you can catch him in just a few minutes when we return after the break. All right, guys. It is the last day and the last waning moments of Natalie Quinlan's tenure. Mm -hmm. And so we have prepared this look back at her time with us. 